Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today, Zola and I are going to share our most recent Scentsy empties. You guys, it has been go three going on four weeks since I filmed an empties, which is totally out of control. I never anticipated waiting this long before I filmed an empties, but I've just been in the groove of melting and everything and I just haven't thought to sit down and film them. And then when I saw my my box that I keep all my empties in I was like oh my god I have to get this done I honestly didn't even think I got through that many and then when I saw my box this morning I was like I really need to film this today so typically I do combine my Scentsy and Vendor together but because I have a decent amount of both I really don't want to keep putting out videos that are super super long so I'm trying to make them more manageable so for at least this portion of empties I'm gonna divide them just because otherwise it would be a very long video but we will go ahead and get starting started if you hear any snores in the background just try and tune them out she is out cold and she just has to be near me at all times so we will jump right in the first bar I have here is vanilla barnwood this is currently available you guys this is beautiful so this is barn wood covered with creamy vanilla, rich amber, conjure a picturesque snow covered countryside. This is 10 times better than I thought it would be. When I first got this bar, it was kind of light. I didn't really think it would even be like able to perform my open concept, but then I was chatting with a few of my friends and they're like, no, like it's a good performer, try it out. So I said, okay, you know, I didn't have high hopes for it. I put it in my open concept, you know, between my kitchen and my living room this performed so well it was at least a solid medium if not going medium on high and the combination of this amber with the barn wood it's just really beautiful it's like a cozy sophisticated upscale kind of fragrance this reminds me of like a candle you would get from like Diptyque or you know one of those upscale candle companies I really like this I think this is also a safe bar to gift to someone just because it does bring that sophisticated cozy ambiance and it's a beautiful bar to warm if you're having people over and you don't really want your house to smell bakery you don't want to offend somebody with spice I think this is a really great neutral option so I'm gonna stock up on a couple of bars and I'm pretty sure this is one that I'll go into my club before it you know leaves the catalog but yeah that's vanilla barn wood next bar I have here is harvest blessings so this one was gifted to me from Christine from Christine Sensing. so Christine if you're watching thank you so much and those of you who are not subscribed to Christine I will leave her channel down below she's just so sweet we get along very well we're always chatting back and forth in our little wax chat group we have going on she's just one of the best um, so generous, so sweet. I just really enjoy her and her content. So Harvest Blessings is radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. I feel like I rarely hear people talk about this bar. I did enjoy it. I definitely get more of like a red juicy apple, like you just cut into a red, like perfectly ripened red apple. And then you do get pumpkin spice, a bit of pumpkin spice. I would say in this bar the pumpkin spice definitely overshadows the apple and it's that pumpkin spice to me that's like the topping like the powdery topping that you get if you order say a pumpkin spice latte like that cinnamon uh, pumpkin spice powder that they put on top that's it is quite spicy but I like that you still get the essence of the juicy apple I don't get oak in this at all this was a moderate performer honestly being with how much cinnamon and spice you get in this I thought this was going to be a powerhouse it was more of a like a lighter medium it was nice but to me honestly it's not anything unique enough where I feel like I would need to club it I maybe would pick up another bar or two but you know it was a like not a love but I did enjoy it while I warmed it again thank you Christine next one I have here is Homestead Holiday so this is part of the current sense of the season collection this is blood orange and cinnamon freshened by fur needle this was a powerhouse like medium high for me I do like this blood orange if you watched me in my bring back my bar first sniffs 
I wasn't crazy about that combination of the orange with the cinnamon. This orange to me comes off as a juicy, authentic blood orange, not a candied blood orange. And I think that's the difference as to why I like this and not blood orange spice. So this is definitely, like I just said, more of a juicy, authentic blood orange. And the cinnamon, although it is more of a spicy leaning cinnamon, it's not overdone. It really, to me, it just accents the blood orange really well. And then you do get a good punch of fur needle. Nothing offensive. To me, this is majority of the blood orange with the cinnamon. And then you do get a little extra freshness in the background from the fur needle. I like this. I think this is a nice bar for the Christmas time. Nothing I would club at all. I would maybe grab another bar or two just to warm, you know, as we approach the holiday season more or, you know, we're already in the holiday season, but closer to the actual holidays, I would warm this maybe another time or two. So that was Homestead Holiday. Next, we have a bar from the Open Plains collection. This is Wide Open Spaces. I don't know why I'm not focusing. Might just be the lighting in here. Wide Open Spaces. This is white leather sweetened with sugar cane and a splash of cozy vanilla. So this was my favorite out of the bunch, and I really thought I would enjoy this on warm, you guys. To me, this just fell kind of flat. It is a beautiful, delicate leather fragrance, and you do get that cozy vanilla. You get a little added sweetness from the sugar cane, but it just, I don't know. It was just pretty bland on warm to me, and honestly, it wasn't strong. This was a light going, if I want to be generous, I would say going on light medium. So I warmed this in my area it's like a walk-in closet kind of area. I have a 25 watt bulb in there and I also warm this in my bedroom too. So I used up the whole bar and it was just, it was light. Like if I had the door shut and I would come back in, I would get a whiff of it. But if I was spending time in the room, I wasn't really getting it unless I was like a couple feet away from the warmer. So it was nice. Honestly, I expected it to be a little bit stronger. I did throw this in my club before it got discontinued or taken out, you know, of the catalog, whatever phrase you want to say. So I will get those bars and hold on to them a little longer and see if they cure any better. But honestly, this was kind of a letdown, but no big deal. We have plenty others to love. The next one, you guys, I love this one. This is Caramel Praline Cake. This is also in the Sense of the Season collection. So it's a sweet praline and a splash of buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle. This was delicious. Oh, that toasted gooey kind of caramel. Almost leaning a little bit on a burnt caramel, but I think the sweetness from the um, praline and the butteriness from the vanilla keep this from being smelling like too much of a burnt caramel. This was so good. This reminds me of almond croissant which I know is so many people's heartbreaks, including my own. Um, almond croissant I got in a flash sale when I first started buying from Scentsy, probably like a year and a half ago. And I have one bar left that I'm holding on to. So when I read the description for this, I thought maybe it would be similar. Got it. The bar was kind of light when I got it, so I didn't really have high hopes for it. But one morning I was like, I really want to melt almond croissant, but I didn't want to use my last bar. So I said, let me melt this and see how it does. I've heard others say it's pretty light, so I didn't have high hopes for it. This was strong, you guys. Let me know if you've had the same experience with caramel praline cake. This was a banger. Like, this was honestly medium, going on medium high. If I had to rate it out of a 10, I would say it honestly was like an 8 going on 9. Like, this was strong, really strong and delicious. This is like an older cousin to almond croissant. Like, they're in that same family of having that doughy, warm, delectable bakery. But then this one is just heavy caramel and the praline you get. But to me, this is predominantly warm bakery dough with like sugar and caramel. So good. This is one I'm gonna load up on and this is definitely one that's gonna go in my club. If they ever bring almond croissant back, I think I would kind of decide at that time which one I would have in my club because they are pretty similar. This one, like I said, just has the added caramel. So I did really like this one. This was a surprise hit for me just because I didn't have high expectations for performance. But thank God, this is a new love of mine. Next, we have a bar from the Villains collection. This is Dark and Devious. So this is 
black pepper, star anise, and cinnamon. Stir up a plot with smoked avispin and ancient hemlock. This was such a good dark, just dark. And to me, this is cozy. I love my dark fragrances. I love fragrances that have depth to them. Yes, I do love my typical lavender pink sugar type soft blends for the evening. But if it's an evening that's super cold or damp and dreary outside, I love to melt a bar at night that's just dark and cozy. And I really liked this. I know this is probably not a love for many people. I wouldn't even say it's a love of mine, but I did really like it. It surprised me with how much I liked it. It did on cold give me a bit of like a black licorice vibe for some reason. I don't know if it was this absinthe with the star anise. I don't know because oops, here we go with losing an earring. But I honestly thought I would like it. But when I warmed it, I was like, wow, this is really, really good. So yeah, I liked it. This was a medium, you know, with the scent notes, you know, having cinnamon and star anise and absinthe. I thought this would be a powerhouse and I thought, you know, I would maybe have to warm this sparingly. It was more of a medium, a nice ambiance, like I said, dark, cozy evening fragrance. So it was enjoyable. Nothing I feel like I have to club or anything, but I did like it. Next, we have another bar from the Sense of the Season collection. This is Sugar Plum Berry. This is Spice Citrus Peels, Evergreen Berries, Sugar Plums, and Cinnamon Sticks. As you could tell, I've been on quite the spice and cinnamon kick lately, and I've really been enjoying it. This 10 out of 10 powerhouse, like if you're sensitive to super strong spicy fragrances, this is a bar you will want to put like in alternating warmers, maybe with something else to tone it down. This was a powerhouse and I loved it. This went for 12 going on 13 hours before I finally changed it out to something else. But Chris from Dazzling Sensing, from Chris and I, um, I can't even talk. Chris from Dazzling Sense with Chris, you all know her, she's hilarious. I adore her, absolutely love her. But we were talking about this fragrance and how much we liked it. And she was like, you know what, this reminds me of Winter from Bath and Body Works. So I had already melted it at the time and you know, being a frequent customer of Bath & Body Works, it didn't even cross my mind, but I went into my basket and smelled the empty, empty clamshell and I was like, she is so right. This smells so much like winter. It's not an identical dupe to me because you definitely get the citrus and the plum berry, which to me, I don't really get in winter. Winter is more of like a really nice foresty type winter fragrance with cinnamon but I do not get fruit in winter so to me this is very similar to winter but with the addition of the fruit notes so the, with the citrus and the plum this was really nice this is one I will definitely I would probably get a six pack in this but I wouldn't necessarily club it um but yeah it was enjoyable I'm really just trying to be mindful of what I put in my club because with being somebody who also buys Vendor wax, there are a lot of fragrances that you can get in vendor wax that you don't necessarily need to commit to with a club. So I try and be more mindful in that sense. There are quite a bit of fragrances that get released this time of year with cinnamon, um, citrus, and you know, tree notes. So I try not to be too redundant with what I club, but this was really, really nice. I love this a lot more than I thought I would. Next one here is Cinnamon Pine Cones. So this is Sparkling Pine Cones, Festive Fir Balsam, and a hint of Sweet Cinnamon Sticks. Another one gifted to me from Christine. So Christine, thank you again. This was nice. I knew I loved Roasted Pine Cones. I have a lot of scents with Roasted Pine Cones in my collection from vendors, and I had never tried Scentsy's Pine Cones, so this was nice. This is definitely more of a cinnamon broom leaning cinnamon and then you get the earthiness of the roasted pine cone. You do get a little bit of fir balsam so it keeps it from being just a balance of roasted pine cone and cinnamon. You definitely get a different woodsy note in there. If I didn't have the notes I wouldn't necessarily be able to tell you that this was fir or fir balsam but it's definitely present. This was nice. This was a medium, medium high. I would say it's like a 7, 8 out of 10. This was enjoyable. This is something I would definitely get, you know, a couple bars of. Again, it's not something super unique to me where I feel like it would be a clubber, but I did like this one. 
Next is a bar that I do have in my club and this is Painted Leaves. I know this could be pretty hit or miss with some people. So this one is Blue Spruce, Red Maple, and Golden Woods. You guys, this is a fragrance that'll literally blow you out of your house. I remember the first time that I warmed this. I warmed this in just my living room area. Like I used all eight cubes and I was like, whoa. Like usually woodsy type fragrances are pretty strong just by nature, I guess, of those oils. They just tend to throw really well and they're powerful. This literally, I was outside in the backyard with Zola and I could smell this. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like this is an amazing performer. But if you are sensitive to those strong fragrances and you're not really a woodsy scent lover, I wouldn't suggest you try this. If you want to be brave or experimental, definitely try it. It's a beautiful fragrance, but just start out with a light to moderate amount because it is really strong. I love this. I love the blue spruce note in here. It's definitely prominent to me. And then you do get a little bit of red maple, but to me, this is mainly blue spruce and, and woods. This is really nice. I don't have many scents with blue spruce in my collection. So to me, this is a unique woodsy fragrance. Um, the red maple just adds a little bit of sweetness. So I really like that. It kind of tones the spruce down a little bit. So this is one I have in my club. I think those will stick around for quite some time. This is currently available in the clearance section. So if you're wanting to try something new or you know somebody who would love this to gift to them for the holidays, pick it up. It's currently available in clearance. I believe it's like $4.80. I know because I currently have some in my cart. I might just keep a little bit of a stockpile of it. But yeah, I love this. Next is Autumn Road Trip. This is Crisp Harvest Apple. Anjou Pear and Towering Silver Oak. This is beautiful. Beautiful, sweet, juicy, fruit fall fragrance. This is different from your typical fruit scents that are mixed with woods because this, the silver oak gives it a nice like autumnal base to it. But to me, this is like, I don't know, 40% apple, 40% juicy pear and 20% of the oak. The combination of this apple with this juicy, beautiful pear. I just really like this one. Mainly warmed this in my kitchen entryway area. I think this is a beautiful scent for the kitchen. I just, all day when I had this going, I had this at least going 9 or 10 hours before I had switched it out. I just kept walking into the kitchen and I was like, I really like this. I'm not a typical person, like I'm not a typical fruity melter. I don't really gravitate towards scents that are predominantly fruit, but this was really good. I don't think this is one I would club. Um, I'll see as the season, you know, comes to an end. I may just out of fear of it not coming back, but I went on. I got the counter clean. I got a couple of dish soaps. I just wanted everything that this was available in. I actually might see if they have this in scent circles because I think this would be really nice in the car too. So this is Autumn Road Trip. Definitely one I want to pick up a couple more bars of. And then as the season comes to an end, I'll see what I decide to do as far as club goes. So next I have a couple of bars that are the brick fragrances. And being that I've never smelled, you know, I haven't smelled a lot of Scentsy's holiday fragrances. So I was kind of weary with committing to a brick just because it's such an absorbent amount. So I just decided to throw the bricks in bar form into my club so I melted orange spice and everything nice which is winter orange tea with hints of mold spices and vanilla bean super excited to try this one because I don't have any orange tea type fragrances in my collection at all this is nice um I enjoyed this a bit more than I thought I would I wasn't sure how that orange would come off Sometimes if it's a little bit too much of a candied orange, it could be too just too sweet for me. And I typically don't enjoy that. Um, but this was nice. You don't get too much tea, to be honest with you. I don't know how they consider this a tea fragrance because I barely get any tea notes. This is like a nice candied orange with just cinnamon, maybe a little nutmeg, maybe a little bit of brown sugar. This was nice. Um, 
Again, I think this is one I would maybe buy another bar or so of, but it's not definitely not going to be a clever for me. I just wasn't in love with it. So it was enjoyable. Medium performer, to be honest with you, with how strong this was in the clam, I thought this would be like a powerhouse performer. And it just wasn't. It was more of a light medium. Out of 1 to 10, I would say it was maybe a 5. So, you know, it was all right, but just nothing crazy. This next one I enjoyed more than I thought I would. This is Holly Jolly Cider. Warm apple cider infused with cinnamon sticks and a whip of evergreen. You know, I was looking forward to warming this, but, you know, based on the notes, I was like, it's probably just like a typical holiday cider fragrance, which I do have in my collection already with, you know, other vendors and such. This was nice, you guys. This I liked more than I thought I would. Going into warming both of these, I thought that, I would gravitate more towards orange spice just because like I said I don't have any scents with orange tea in my collection so I thought after warming them that I would prefer orange spice over holly jolly and it's the opposite I actually like this a lot more I love with this that you actually get that evergreen note I wasn't sure how it would come out in this scent if anything I expected it to be just more of like a background to the spice cider but it was a good punch of the <clears throat> evergreen. So it was a beautiful balance of the evergreen with a spice cider. So if you're not crazy about those spiced holiday fragrances, you're not crazy about cider scents, but you like woodsy scents, I think this is a great bar to try to introduce you to the both of them together. So yeah, I really liked this one. I know the bricks are currently, they have like a deal. I think it's like two for 30. So I was actually debating on getting a holly jolly brick with something else but I just don't know if I want to commit to a brick size of it um I don't know if anything I might just keep this in my club for a while to get a stockpile and then take it out next up we have ghostly greetings black plum spice berry and a dash of bourbon so when I first tried this bar I was like, I don't know, you know, a lot of people, this is a very polarizing bar. Either a lot of people love this or a lot of people hate this. I really like this. I've just grown to really enjoy those dark, you know, fruity fragrances. And this is what that is. This plum in here, it's beautiful. It's juicy. It's not a candied plum. It comes off pretty authentic to me. You do get, definitely get like a spiced berry. If I had to guess, I would say it's like a dark spiced raspberry because it comes off a little sweet. It doesn't come off tart like a cranberry. Even on warm, it comes off like a um, like a juicy spiced berry. It, it reads raspberry to me. I don't know if that's just a combination of the berry with the plum. But if I had to guess, I would say it may be like a dark cherry and a, and a raspberry. Bourbon, I don't get too much of. I get a beautiful combination on cold and warm of the plum, what I would think is raspberry and cherry. This is a medium to medium high. Out of a 10, I would say this is a seven going on eight. I just really like this. This is in my club. It'll stick around for quite some time because I'm not sure when this one will come back. If I'm not mistaken, this was in a bring back my bar. Was it this past June's? It was in a Bring Back My Bar. I don't think it was January. I think it was this past June. So yeah, this is in my club and it'll stick around for quite some time. If you are on the Ghostly Greetings train, let me know. I know, like I said, it's a pretty polarizing bar. So not it's not for everybody. A couple more here. This is Churro Churro. This was in the June Bring Back My Bar. This is baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. This is nice. In the clam, it is 10 times stronger than it is on warm. This is pretty light for me on warm, and there seems to be a bit of variance in performance for me with this bar. The first bar I ever had, I was pretty skeptical to warm because when Bring Back My Bar was going on in June, a lot of people were like, this is good. It just doesn't perform. It was a dud. So I was like, you know, let me form my own opinion and warm my own. So the first time I warmed this, I was like, I don't know what everybody's talking about. Like, I got a solid medium performance. I loved it. It lasted, like, at least eight to nine hours before it started to fizzle out, which is pretty good for Scentsy Bakery. <clears throat> so I was like, I don't know what everybody's talking about. I'm going to club this. I really liked it. And this is the second, this is either the second or third bar I've warmed of it since it's been in my club. 
and then now it's just this one didn't perform at all i'm like what is happening like i didn't have any other sense warming near it that overtook it or anything like that it was just this bar like i had to be like one or two feet from the warmer to even smell it so i don't like that it had an inconsistency at all i want to be able to club a scent and know that every time i warm it it's going to perform the same way i think that's how it should be so this was a disappointment i took it out of my club so you know now that i have caramel praline cake i think that'll kind of satisfy my craving for like a sweet cinnamon sugar bakery so i'm not necessarily sad that i got rid of this it just i just can't with the inconsistency sensi to charge six dollars per bar or you know if you happen to get them on a discount or in your club with a slight discount it's just not worth it to me i'm not paying six dollars or say five dollars and change for a bar that <clears throat> i can't guarantee is going to perform the same way every time that's just me next we have from the sense of the season collection frosted white pine this is pine needles and crisp greens shiver in winter air really like this one um on cold this gives me more of a men's aftershave or a men's like foresty type body wash um fragrance <laughs> I don't know why I just forgot what word I was gonna say on warm I don't really get that on warm this is a beautiful woodsy fragrance you get the little bit of crispness of the winter air which must be like the ever so slight hint of either like a spearmint or a peppermint maybe even a little bit of a bergamot I can't really detect what it is because the greens are so powerful in here but this is so good I really like this one. This one was another one that was a powerhouse. This was like an eight or nine out of 10. I'm gonna put this in my club, I believe, because I tend to really like the couple of bars that are woodsy from Scentsy that I've warmed, I really enjoy. So, you know, this one was a great performer. I really liked the way it was on warm. So yeah, I will definitely grab a couple more bars of this and most likely club it for a little while. Last but not least was another flop for me. This is Happy Birthday. This is Sparkling Sugar, Fluffy Whipped Cream, and Vanilla Extract. This was so hyped up in the last Bring Back My Bar. So I grabbed a couple of bars. Um, I didn't warm it before Bring Back My Bar ended for that period. So I stuck it in my club because I was like, you know what? Everyone and their mother and their grandmother, their great-grandmother, everybody raves about this scent. And I was like... You know, I don't see how it could be anything out of this world, especially, you know, me being somebody who warms vendor wax too. There's so many good bakery scents and cake type scents that you can get from vendors. But I was like, I have to see what the hype is about. I don't know, you guys. This just didn't do it for me. First of all, it was not a good performer. Out of a 10, I would say maybe this was a four. I would give it a four and a half if I wanted to be generous, which this is pretty strong in the clam. You definitely get a strong whiff of the buttercream with the cake, which comes off as a funfetti cake to me. And then on warm, it just, it fell flat. I warmed this a couple times in my bedroom on two different days just to see if it was me. Um, had the door closed. It just, I walked in the room and I can get like a light whiff of buttercream with cake. But for me to use four cubes each time in my bedroom, I should have gotten way better performance from this than I did. Um, so this would... In my house, in my situation, this would never be one I'd be able to warm in my open concept. And I don't typically want a warm bakery in my bedroom per se, so I took it right out of my club. I know <laughs> this is a love for so many people, but again, to me, it's just not that unique. And if it's not going to perform well, I'm not going to spend $6 per bar on it. So it was nice. Um, maybe with a little more cure time, it would do better. But in my opinion, you shouldn't really need to cure Scentsy. It's a pretty soft wax. So the oils should be pretty well penetrated within the wax. I don't think you should need to let them sit well, like for a while. So yeah, this was a flop. So that was everything. That's every Scentsy bar that I've warmed over the last several weeks. I really have been focusing more so on my vendor wax these last couple of weeks certain vendors in particular so I haven't gotten through quite as much Scentsy as I hoped I would but still a decent amount compared to what I usually get through for Scentsy so that was everything you guys thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me definitely leave your thoughts down below if you've warmed any of these or you know anything what your thoughts are if you have suggestions of bars you think I would enjoy that I should try let me know 
And if you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Zola for a while. I hope you decide to subscribe and stick around. I am a Scentsy consultant, so if you're looking for somebody to help you with holiday shopping or anything like that, if you'd like any suggestions as far as warmers go, fragrance preference or anything like that I'd be happy to help you you can leave a comment down below you don't even have to use me as a consultant I'd be happy just to throw you know my suggestions out there for you so yes I hope you're all doing well I'm sure I will be back shortly with my vendor empties if you're interested in that if not take care stay well and we will chat soon bye